So I'm realizing that the Temecula Valley Balloon Wine Festival is just as old as I am, established in 1983. Does that mean we're both finely aged? Hi, I'm Christine with Kimbap TV, and we are still tasting our way through this three-day festival. I need to try as many different types of wine as possible. You drink this. And as soon as it touches my tongue, it turns into like fizz. I will give you a ticket if you'll give me some Pinot. That's how we do it. So it's like drink, fizz. This time we're hanging out at a special section of the festival called the Reserve Garden. In the Reserve Garden, it is the winemaker's choice. So it is the winemaker's favorite wine. It is what he considers his best wine. I enter the Reserve Garden with lots of tasting tickets and the power to choose my favorite wine. Check out how many tokens they have. Look at that. I I'm not giving my tokens away quite too soon. I got two here, one for my husband and one for myself. I want to make sure I give equal opportunity. For the next hour or so, I'm busy researching my way around the wineries. We're Wine Ranch and we're in Marietta. We're the first winery actually in Marietta. Second one is for dry champagne. There you go. Thank you very much. This is really fun. I give you a ticket and you give me alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> Europa Village has been around for 14 years. When it started, it was going to be just a small yeah. family little winery, but it's grown into so much now that basically be Disneyland of wine country. <laughs> Does drinking wine help make you look younger? Oh yeah. Pinot and pizza. <laughs> and then I come across this bottle and this name, and I had to show off my Spanish skills. Casa is house, tienda is has, vista is view. So house. Yeah that has a view. <laughs> oh, I get a prize for knowing Spanish, yay, gracias. Tell me a little bit about this cute little dog. His name is Sir Charles Cabernet, and he is our wine ambassador. When people come to the vineyard to chase wine, he thinks they're there to see him, and he walks around and greets every single person. He was born in 2009, and our first vintage of this Cabernet was 2009, so we only thought it was fitting to name the wine after him. How much business has he brought to your winery? When people come in for a tasting, and they look at the label, they go, oh my God, it's adorable. I don't even care what it tastes like. I'm buying it. And I'm going, well, taste it. And they go, oh, we love it. It's won gold medals at a lot of wine competitions. We've actually been producing wines since 2012 and we've won 118 medals in wine competitions. Do you want to join me? He's having a double of what I'm having because one's not enough. One was not enough. Yeah. Cheers, salud! Salud! Not just the cute dog, he makes good wine too. My husband and I both retired from the software business and we love wine, traveled all over, tasted wine many places, and he goes, this is what we should do for retirement. So we have a big passion for it. I said, you know what, I never thought retirement would be about working seven days a week. I used to work out a lot and go to the health club, and now my workout is, is lifting 36 pound cases of wine. <laughs> so I'm very strong. Wow. <laughs> Why is a festival like this important for someone like you? I love to be around people, and I want people to see our wine and know our wine. We do nine wines, so this is just a sampling of what we do. Well, my husband and I live about an hour and a half away, so we hope to come back and visit you. I hope you'll remember us. Well, please do. I will give you a business card so you remember us. Yeah. I'm making so many new friends here. I love it. Thank you so much for joining me. Please subscribe, and I hope to see you again soon. In Temecula, I'm Christine Lee, Keep Up TV. Cheers. <laughs>